What's up YouTube, it is your boy Darius Official. I am back with another YouTube video. I feel like everyone needs an outlet to avoid depression. <laughs> you guys are my outlet. <laughs> As y'all can see from the title below, this is My Summer with Noah, episode 13, part two. Um, and if y'all remember from the last episode, well, before we get into that, um, if y'all watched my last YouTube video, then you know I had dropped a vlog and a lot of y'all had a question about my eye and stuff like that. Like I told y'all, I'm gonna give y'all a story time on that, but right now we just need to focus video by video. So, um, yeah, this video is my summer with Noah. Um, I want to let y'all know that we are extremely, extremely, extremely super close to the end. So I just need y'all to, um, kind of you know rap with me on that and you know i know it's a sad little moment that we get to bond with but uh yeah it's it's coming to an end we have literally about like three episodes after this left so yeah um anyway so let's do a little recap um basically last episode noah ended up showing up to my house because i was ignoring him after we had a conversation of him basically letting me know that um he would be leaving sooner than he was supposed to and i didn't know how to feel about that it was just you know it wasn't sitting well with me so yeah so let's pick back up to present day so basically um y'all know i was in my room and i was ignoring noah and i was hoping and praying that he wouldn't come to my house but he ended up coming to my house my brothers ended up telling me that he was outside of my house noah what are you doing um well i ended up walking up to the door and there stands noah i remember this like it was yesterday he had on a black hoodie and some black sweats he had his hood pulled over his head and he was like can we talk and I was like, about what? What are we talking about? I'm not really in the mood because you're about to tell me something that I don't like. You're about to tell me that you're about to leave and I don't know how to, I don't know how to feel about it. I don't know how to fathom those emotions. So basically, um, yeah, he wanted to come in, but I didn't allow him to just because like, first off, no, and two, no. So I ended up stepping outside with him on the porch. I ended up closing the door. Um, and yeah so now we're outside and y'all i'm just literally just sitting there like this looking at him and he's like why are you always ignoring me when you don't like to hear something that you don't like to hear i was like because i don't know what you want me to say how am i supposed to respond what do you want me to what do you expect you know what i mean like i i mean looking back on her now it probably wasn't right but hey bitch you know what else the fuck can i do you know it's like shit so um yeah we're just kind of i'm just sitting there letting him talk and he's like um if there's any way that i can stay if it was up to me i would but there's nothing that i can do so i don't think that there's any room for us to be ignoring each other right now considering that i leave in less than a week and a half which was really crazy y'all like he literally was leaving within a week and a half at this time and it was just honor just i was just even when he said that to me i got irritated er because i'm just like you still don't get it like you're just steady pissing me off like so um like i said i was just sitting there i was just kind of staring at him i wasn't really saying much and he was like what do you have to say and i'm like I mean, what is there else for me to say? That's why I just shut up, because there's nothing else for me to say. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. So I just go into my little nutshell, and I just don't say anything to anybody until I feel like there's a purpose for a conversation. But right now, I have none. And, um, yeah, he, as he was talking, I've started to realize that he was tipsy or drunk. But we're going to say tipsy, because usually when he got drunk, he used to, like, like i can just really tell that he was drunk but i mean i could tell when he was tipsy too but when he was tipsy of course it just wasn't like you know overly extended so i was like noah are you drunk and he's like no i was like are you tipsy he was like no i said were you drinking at all before you got to me and he's like yeah i only had like three shots only three shots sir that's crazy you're, you're something's wrong with you that's absurd you're tipsy because like i just noticed like he was just talking too much y'all you know what i mean and then too like it irritated me because at that time at that point in my life like i really wasn't drinking and stuff so like i mean like i would of course y'all know me y'all but um at that point in time i was just drinking like how i am now because of course you know i'm older and stuff like that i know how to handle myself but at that point in time i definitely still did despise liquor so anytime i felt like i was around somebody else who was under the influence i felt like i couldn't have like a normal conversation with them because i always looked at them as less than in that moment not not really less than but more so like you're not capable of having a normal conversation with me like you're at it but that's where my mind was then so um i'm just like dude 
you just literally came to my house and you're tipsy. And he kept slowing up and down, he wasn't tipsy. So I'm just like, all right. But if I can notice it, that you're tipsy, and then you admit that you had some shots, that means that nine times out of 10, you're probably tipsy. But anyway, so back to the conversation. He's like, anyway, that's besides the point. So um, he's like, well, can I come in? No, you cannot. Yo, why as I'm talking to him? Cause we're still by our front door or by my front door. And my, the house that I was staying in at the time, like we had this big dumb ass like um, window that was for the living room. Like it was just like really huge. Why he knocks on the window and I'm like, yo, what are you doing? I'm like, Noah, what are you doing? Chill out. Why my brother comes and opens up like the little curtain, my oldest brother. And I'm like, close it. I'm like, close it. But he's like, you good? I'm like, you get it like i'm good and then he comes to the door and noah's like what's up bro y'all playing a game and i'm like and my brother like yeah we, we we can get a few rounds in what's up and i'm like i see what you're doing and it's not gonna work even though it low-key did work but still it's not i see what you're doing I see what you're doing i don't know how to feel about it. so he's like slide in slide in and i'm like i'm just looking at both of them like fishy i don't like this so noah looks at me and i look at him and he walks past me and goes in the living room with my brother and starts playing the game. And I just close the door and I lock it and I just kind of go in the kitchen and I'm just looking like, okay, all right. Um, that was lasting for like 30 minutes. I just left out the kitchen, I just went into my room. But before I made it to my room, my mom's room was next to my room. So she ended up stopping me and she's like, who's here? And I was like, Noah. And she was like, oh, okay. And she's like, where is he at? I'm like, he's playing the game with my brothers which is absurd because why are you playing the game with my brother once again but he knew exactly what to do to intrude and like i don't know how i feel about that y'all comment down below how would you feel about that mm, y'all probably thinking it's cute but it's like whatever <sighs> so she's like oh, okay i was like yeah so then i went to my room and i was in there for maybe like another 30 minutes so i hear noah walking down the i hear somebody walking down the hallway and then it's noah i hear him speak to my mom and then he walks right in my room and closes the door and i'm like i'm like you done playing the game he's like yeah i'm like all right well you can go now and he's like no i'm like yeah you can he's like no no well, don't piss me off <laughs> and he's like you want to go let me in any other way i said i didn't let you in you use my brothers to the best of your advantage negro He's like, can I just kick it here and chill with you for a minute? I'm like, okay, fine. So, as y'all know, I had Twilight going because anytime I'm sad, I always cut on Twilight. I've been doing it for years now. And so he sees on the TV that Twilight's on. He was like, you watching Twilight? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, why? I'm like, because I'm fucking sad. That's why, duh. Because you're about to fucking leave in less than two weeks. And you're about to be gone for God knows how fucking long. And I don't even know if you're going to be coming back. That's why. Any further questions, you can take that up with the lawyer. So um i noticed that like when he came in as we were talking like he starts kicking off his shoes he takes off his hoodie he's just getting real comfortable he slips off his pants and he's in his boxers or in his briefs and i'm like what you doing the fuck are you doing and he's like i'm gonna chill here for a minute okay why are you getting naked he's like because i have on outside clothes mm -hmm. you ain't worried about no fucking outside clothes any other time like fucking weirdo. But yeah, um, I don't know. I'm the type of person that like when I'm mad at someone, they can easily do something that would make me less mad or either more mad. And like if I'm mad at you and you do something that would make me less mad, I'm going to be like, okay, now we back in it. Like now, now we cool again. You know what I mean? So yeah, I don't know. Like just being around him, like we were cuddling and stuff. Um, you know, just doing what we usually do. Uh, we were watching Twilight and just chilling there, just enjoying each other's company. And I don't know, I guess that was enough for me to be like, yeah, I'm not upset anymore. But it was still just giving very much, like I kept on having the thoughts in the back of my head, like this isn't going to last long. Like even just in this specific moment, like you're about to leave eventually tonight or eventually whenever you do leave. And I just, that just kind of made me think about the whole ordeal of our little situationship that we had going on that it wasn't gonna last, that he was going to be leaving, you know? Um, turns out he stayed the night, which is crazy because I'm still, y'all, the way that I can't even imagine this shit now, like this how I know my mom had to know something about me because like the way I just know my mom, like she just, I don't know, like I can't even imagine her just being like, I can't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, like your son bringing in another well i mean granted like yeah dude, me and noah was around each other for like a while and so you know i don't know but i mean it was obvious like we had matching necklaces and shit like that it was just it was kind of crazy like it, kind of crazy so i'm like uh somebody has to notice something but mm, 
you know, maybe times have just changed and people just pay a little bit more too, too much attention to what they shouldn't. But yeah, so um, we were laying there and um, we ended up falling asleep and then we woke up the next morning and um yeah like that the morning was actually like really short-lived honestly nothing much really happened he just kind of we sat there until he got up and you know i mean not just like up and left but not much really happened like when we woke up he just you know put it back on his clothes and then he left um and yeah that day that day i'm not gonna lie y'all i was actually doing like some I don't know, I really got out of character. It was it was really bad. So, okay, so follow me. Cause this shit gets like crazy and I don't know why I was even thinking about this, but like, um, yeah, it was getting bad. Um, so I went down to my best friend's house at the time, Selena. Um, and I we we were talking about like how Noah had came over or whatever right after me and her had got off the phone, stuff like that. And she was like, Okay, how'd that went? And I told her about it. Um, and she kind of like put this idea in my head, but she was like joking, but like I actually went through with it and it was pretty fucking stupid. Um, basically she was like, shit, you better than me. If it was me, I sabotage everything that got going on. And I was like, what? And she was like, yeah. And I was like, sabotage what? And she was like, I'm just talking shit. But I was saying like, you know, I would make it to where they didn't go to Paris. And I was like, ding, 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 idea. If I can't, if I want them to not go to Paris, or if I want Noah to not go to Paris, let's make it to where he can't make it to Paris. <laughs> Y'all, it got like really, really bad. Like, I was doing stupid shit. I was really like, I really went on a rampage of sabotage and shit. So, literally as I'm sitting there talking to her, I'm like, I'm gonna do it. And she was like, you gonna do what? And I was like, I'm gonna sabotage. Like, they're not going. And she was like, what? And I was like, yeah. She was like, I was just playing. I'm like, but I'm not. And she was like, you always find a way to do some crazy shit. And I'm like, yeah. So y'all, I remember me and her was sitting on the couch in her living room. And she literally was helping me like jot down like a, a long list of like, a long list of like things <laughs> that I could do to sabotage their trip. So let me actually see if I still got it in my notes because I remember I was writing it in my notes is crazy um shit okay i can't find it it's gonna take too long but basically we're sitting there and i remember i was like i told her i said so what do you think i should do she was like if i was you like clearly they need a ride to get to the airport and i was like mm, okay and she's like i would slash the tires i said slashing the tires is crazy but what i will do is i will break a bottle Y'all, like, I really planned all of this shit out, right? And it's so crazy because I was actually going through with it. But, mind y'all, this is just a, this is just us putting everything into thought. Like, we're just writing shit down of what we're going to do. So, we're still just sitting in her living room. And so, I was like, okay, what if I, like, break a glass bottle right outside of their driveway? So, when they're, like, pulling off, they roll over glass. And she was like, mmm. So, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, even, I'll even add a little bit of nails. So, that you know, they get, like, a flat tire. She was like, okay, cool. But then I'm thinking like, I need to go big or go home. Cause that's not gonna stop them. And she's like, what you mean? And I'm like, they can either Uber, they can have someone take them and she'll worry about it later. And nine times out of 10, she was probably gonna try to get her car shipped anyway. I don't know what, so I'm like, you know what? Like what? I'm like, this is gonna sound really crazy. But the next time I go to Noah's house, I can find his passport and hide it. She was like, what? I'm like, yeah, bitch, hide his passport so he can't go to Paris. She's like, yo, that's crazy. I'm like, well, I don't think it's, I don't know. I gotta do something. Cause he not finna leave me behind. So she's like, all right, we'll do it. I'm like, so we literally planned out me like breaking the glass bottle and putting nails in front of their driveway so that when they pull off, they catch a, a flat tire. Of course, all of this was gonna happen like the night before they left or something. <laughs> and then also through the next time I'll go to Noah's house, I'm going to find his passport and I'm going to hide it. <laughs> So y'all, okay, the story gets crazy. So she's like, so we, we wrote everything down. We had it written in stone. We're like, this is what we're gonna do. So yeah. So she's like, all right, so when are you gonna try that? I'm like, hmm, I'm gonna see if he lets me come over today or if I can come over today. And she's like, okay, bet, 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 bet. I'm like, yeah. Even though I just saw him yesterday, but I'm like, I don't care. I'm gonna keep on seeing you because nigga, if you do leave, then what? <sighs> so um, I think around two o'clock came. Of course, me and Noah were texting, 
and I end up asking him like what is his plans today and he was like um not much just packing up stuff like as far as clothes and stuff that he's taking I'm like hmm okay shit is really getting real because now you're packing which is fucking crazy because like I don't think that you should be leaving me but hey whatever you know so I asked him, I said, well, can I come over and help? And he texted back and was like, I remember he put like this weird little emoji and he was like, help? I was like, yeah. He was like, you would want to help? And I'm like, well, no, I wouldn't, but just so I could be around you, yeah. He's like, okay, yeah. He was like, I'm going to be on my way in like 15 minutes. And I'm like, bet. So I told my best friend, I'm like, <laughs> he'll be here in like, she was like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, it's that simple. She's like, okay, make sure that you do your big one. I'm like, all right. So first thing on the list is find his passport. So um, we were just kind of killing time. We weren't really doing shit. I was on my phone and then Noah texts and he was like, I'm outside. And I'm like, all right. So I went outside. I told her about whatever we hopped in. A, I hopped in the car with Noah and then we went to his house. Um, and his mom was gone, of course. She was like, her ass was, I don't know what the fuck. Like she was always gone. I'm starting to think she was a whore. Um, but yeah, when we got to, when we got to Noah's house, um, we walked in and I noticed that it was like hella brown boxes everywhere. And I was like, y'all moving shit out of y'all house? And he's like, well, no, not moving it out the house. But like, these are like filled with like just stuff that we don't want around the house in case like break-ins or stuff like that. I'm like, well, I'm going to be here. Y'all say y'all only going to be gone for two months. For real, for real. That's how, like, unless like something changes and then, you know, she really gets the job and then she just, she moves there. So I'm gonna be like, I could wash the house. And he's like, well, it's up to my mom. I'm like, anyway, that ain't the point. Let's go upstairs. So <laughs> we um end up going upstairs and we're just packing and stuff. I'm helping him pack his clothes, folded it up. And I remember asking him, I'm like, I was like, stupid question, but you need a passport to get to Paris, right? And he's like, yeah. I was like, oh, okay. I'm like, yeah. He's like, why you ask? I was like, because I was thinking about getting my passport just in case I need to visit you. He's like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, uh-huh. I'm like, but my mom, you know, if I get a passport, my mom, she's like so overprotective over my documents. Like, she would probably hold on to it. And he's like, oh, that's crazy. I'm like, oh, your mom doesn't hold on to yours? He's like, no. I'm like, oh, okay. So where is it, nigga? I ain't asked him like that, though. I should have, but I didn't. So I'm like, oh, okay. So that means that your mom doesn't have it. That's what I'm thinking in my head. Like, so that means that your mom doesn't have it. So now it's somewhere around this fucking room. And the minute that you go to the bathroom because you have to piss, I'm going to go through your shit and I'm going to find it. I'm going to sabotage you. I'm going to sabotage your whole little thing that you got going on. <sighs> so we're sitting there packing. I'm waiting on this nigga to find any excuse to get out the room so I can search, right? I remember asking him, I said, I'm thirsty. Can you go give me some water? And he's like, just go get it. And I was like, Noah, can you go give me some water? And he's like, you know where the kitchen is, just go get it. And I was like, I'm asking you to go get me some water, I'm thirsty. He's like, all right, man. So he gets up, he goes downstairs. Y'all, but when I tell y'all this nigga went downstairs and he grabbed, <laughs> he grabbed the water so fucking quick, like I couldn't do shit, like it was crazy. And then his house is big as fuck, so nigga, what'd you do, run? Like it was crazy. So I literally tried to hurry up and like go through his drawers and shit, but like I heard him hurry up and come back upstairs. So I had to sit back on the floor real quick and like start folding up clothes. And I was like, dang, what you do, run? And he was like, uh, no. I was like, uh, yeah, you had to. Like, what the fuck? Like, why'd you come back so quick? He was like, you just wanted water. I'm like, oh, okay. Fuck. So we're sitting there folding clothes. We're still just talking about a whole bunch of nothing for real. Um, and about like, I don't know. I just told him how we was having to talk about like how I felt like it was going to be weird with him not being back at school while I'm there. You know what I mean? But then again, like. Maybe it was like for the best because I also couldn't imagine us going to school together knowing that we didn't spend the whole summer together. Like that was just going to be awkward trying to like be around people and not make shit seem like what it is. You know, like the actuality, everything. So just giving very much that. Um, yeah. Then I'm like, I'm kind of hungry. And he's like, oh, you want to order some food? And I'm like, you don't have anything to make downstairs? Like, <laughs> You don't have nothing to make like a steak or something that'll take long? He's like, no, we don't have any food in here. I'm like, bullshit. <laughs> You literally have food, dude. Like, I know you do. Like, here you go, check. Take your time. He's like, no, we don't. He's like, we've been eating out for these past few days because we're about to leave soon. I'm like, you're making it so hard on me. I would hate to just tell you to give me your fucking passport so I can cut that bitch up and shred it. And then it'll take you another six months to get a new one. <laughs> Plus $600. So he's like, I'll just order you food. And I'm like, y'all, the time was literally, it's like I was imagining like the time on the clock just going like this. Like, because I feel like I got nowhere with what I was trying to do. So then, um, eventually we end up stop folding clothes, and luckily he was like, 
I'm so hot. He was like, I'm finna go get in the shower, so I'll be right back. And I'm like, so he ended up getting up. He ended up going to the shower. Um, and he was in there for like a good 15 minutes, right? So I used that to the best of my fucking advantage. Like, I was going through drawers. I was going underneath his bed. I was going through his closet within just this little 15 time frame. And why, as I'm going through his closet, I find his passport. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Y'all already know. His passport was actually hiding underneath. Um, He had like this bucket of cologne and shit like that. And it was like underneath all of the cologne inside of the... It's so weird. I don't even know what made me look there. But I was just like, I have to look everywhere. And I literally found it. And I remember putting it like in my back pocket. Which is really fucking crazy because... <laughs> that's nuts like that's that's insane why would i do that right um but yeah so he ended up coming out the bathroom and i'm just on the bed just chilling like nothing happened and um yeah and, you know he's just like he's there he's putting on his clothes and stuff like that i was just like y'all i was actually like really nervous and scared like to the point where i low-key just wanted to go home just so i could just hide his passport but i'm also thinking too like this is really crazy like i'm really finna fuck up this boy's whole plans and it's just like as crazy as it sounds, I know y'all in the comments like Darius that was fucked up, right? But here's the thing, I wasn't thinking about it at that point. I was just being selfish and I was only thinking about Noah. I didn't think like how it would affect his mom or how it possibly could, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, it was just crazy. Like she could have really lost her job. Like she really could like, you know, I was really fucking up like generational wealth. Cause she was really having like, she had like a good ass job. To go to Paris is crazy. You know, I'm sorry. Look, I'm not, my, my mom wasn't that tight. My mom was a hustler. My mom did what she needed to do to keep bread and butter on the table. You know, she she didn't work for law firms and she, she wasn't at the top of the world screaming, yeah, you know, fucking woman rights and shit. Like, no, it was like, it was, so I'm, I'm sorry. I don't, I didn't have, you know, I just knew, I don't know. I didn't, I don't know. It was crazy. Um, but yeah, he, I was acting weird and I was not trying to act weird, but he's like, you okay? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, why are you acting like that? I'm like, like what? And he's like, I don't know. Like your energy just shifted or something. I was like, I don't know. Maybe I'm tired. I've been over here all day and stuff. He was like, oh, you ready to go home? I'm like, no, not, I don't have to go home. But like, also like, don't hug me and try to grab my butt because then you're going to feel that passport in my back right pocket. And I don't need you to be like, nigga, what the fuck? So yeah. And, um, I don't know. We are just sitting there, um... Putting like, we were organizing the rest of the stuff, like putting it to the side of his room. So it was just easy for, you know, later processing wise. Um, and then we, his mom ended up coming home and luckily she ended up bringing like some food, like some pizza, some pizza and shit. And she's like, Noah, it's pizza down here. And he's like, oh shit, she brought food, let's go. So I'm like, all right. So I went downstairs. Me and Noah both were down. We both went downstairs. We went in the kitchen and grabbed some pizza. And um, as we were getting a pizza, or I was, I was, I was putting my pizza on the plate because I had spoke to his mom and stuff. She was in the kitchen too. She's like, "Hey, how how are you?" I'm like, "I'm fine." Blah blah. She's like, "Okay, that's good. That's good." And I was like, "Thanks for the pizza." She was like, "No problem." And then she ended up telling Noah, can he go close the garage door because she forgot to. And he's like, yeah. He's like, so he runs around the house to go close the garage door. And y'all, while I'm in the kitchen and like <laughs> the most stupidest shit happened, like it was so crazy. So I remember I asked Noah's mom, like where the, if they had rent, right? And she's like, yeah, it's in the cabinet, like right there. And I remember walking up to the cabinet, open up the cabinet and you know how you like turn and like your pants get hooked on something. Why my pants get like my like my pocket thing get like hooked on? Cause I always used to wear like ripped jeans and shit. So it had holes in it. Why this get hooked on like the handle of the cabinet, the lower cabinet, and it like kind of like ripped that part of my back pocket. And why the passport fall out? And I was like, my my mind was like just <laughs> yo. I, I didn't know what to do. And she just kind of looked and she was like, oh, you dropped your. And I was looking at her like, and she was like, why are you walking around with your passport? And I was like, uh, it was, I was like, I was, I don't know. I bringing it back home to my mom. I, and she's like, oh, okay. She was like, yeah, well, you know, you don't need to be walking around with that. So I hurry up and pick it up and I put it in my pocket before Noah come back. Cause like Noah knows that I don't have a passport, but she doesn't know. So I hurry up and put it back in my pocket and I was hoping that she did not bring this shit back up when Noah came in the kitchen. So Noah runs back and he's like, all right, I close it. And she's like, okay. And then she just kind of like walk off into her room with her pizza and 
I'm just like sitting there like nervous as fuck, like jittery, nervous. Like I was like, wow, like what the fuck? So um, <laughs> we end up getting our pizza and we end up going upstairs back up to his room and we're just chilling there eating pizza. And I was like, a part of me really wanted to like put the passport back, but then a part of me was like, the evil twin in me was just like, no. Like, dude, no. Like, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. But really, I still had like a week and a half to like decide if I needed to put it back up. It was just like very awkward for me being over there and we just eating pizza and I was just really ready to go because I was like, yeah, no. Like, I can't really get comfortable because I don't want to take these pants off and ask for shorts and stuff so that we can cuddle because then I don't want to overexpose myself with you know maybe the passport falling out again so um yeah that happened and i was just i was just really stuck between should i do the good thing or the bad thing but y'all know me the evil in me the scorpio in me the homosexual in me was telling me just don't do it like don't put it back keep it in your pocket keep it in your pocket keep it in your pocket so after we got done eating our pizza and stuff noah went back downstairs to go put the plate up or you know put the throw the paper throw the paper plates away and stuff and then he came back up with water and stuff and it wasn't really much more for us to do so we were just kind of just chilling there just vibing or whatever and i remember he cut on his game and i and stuff I ended up instantly like texting my friend um selena and i was like yeah so i grabbed his passport and she's like oh my god did you for it i'm like yeah and i was like and i almost got caught she was like how and i told her about it. i'm like his mom saw it but she didn't know that it was his and i was like she's like okay so now what are you gonna do i'm like i don't know i'm just kind of just chilling here and i'm just trying to see where the night goes but i don't know if i should put it up or put like or just keep it and she was like I don't know and I, it was bad y'all i was i was really like troubled like my mindset was fucked up like why would i put myself in a predicament like that like had he would have known that i grabbed that passport he probably would never talk to me ever again and i don't know i was being very selfish <sighs> so he noticed that i was on my phone a lot because usually even when he plays a game i'm just sitting there either watching him or like we'll play like a multiplayer game or something together but he just noticed like i was just kind of chilling on my phone so he instantly like pauses the game and he swings around in the chair and looks back at me on the bed and i'm like what he was like what's wrong with you like you're acting weird today and i'm like i He's like, who are you texting? And I was like, Selena. He's like, about what? And I'm like, Noah, some stuff. He was like, oh, okay. He's like, cause you just seem like you're really bothered about something. I'm like, no, I'm fine. And then, um, <laughs> you know, him, his old freak body, long back, big foot, fat ankle, having ass, had to get up out his seat. And he started walking towards me as I'm on the bed. And he lays on me and he wants to cuddle and stuff like that because he thinks that I'm mad at him, but I'm like, I'm not mad. I'm actually mad at myself because I'm about to sabotage you and you're not about to go to Perry. So all of the wee wee that's there, you have here. So I don't know what to tell you. Um, so we're just sitting there. I'm just kind of going like this while he's just like laying on me like this. And I'm just like, I know something you don't. I know something you would never know. And I remember him like, reaching his arm over to like caress my like left butt cheek because if y'all remember the passport was originally in my right butt pocket but then i end up having to switch it over because this butt pocket ended up ripping so it was over here and he reached over and he's like and i've just moved his hand and he's like he's like dang are you okay and i'm like yeah he's like why are you moving my hand i can't touch you i was like um i'm just not in the mood right now i'm like i have these jeans on and stuff like he's like well let me get you some shorts and i'm like no like no it's okay don't touch this passport don't touch this left booty like touch the right one and i wouldn't say it nothing but you went over for the left and it just gave very much what do you know what do what do you say do you know something that i don't do you know what i know or do you know what i know but i don't know that you know what i know but i know that you know that i know what you don't know is what we both know i don't know but it was getting very much that and then um yeah i don't know like y'all i'm i kind of like <laughs> i kind of ruined the night i'm not gonna lie like it was getting very like just weird and he's like um he's like well do you want to go home tonight do you want to spend the night and i was like uh i could go home tonight he's like all right he's like well let me know when you're ready i'm like you can actually drop me off now and he's like all right it's like i felt so bad because i was really like he thought i was mad at him but i really wasn't i just was trying to like save myself so we um end up getting up and he ended up like asking for a hug i ended up giving him a hug because like course he thought I was bad then we went downstairs we hopped in his car and he took me home and we pulled up 
in front of my house um and i was about to get out the car because you know me i'm just like anxious to get the fuck out the car and hurry up and go hide this passport in between my mattresses um and he was like dang he was like give me a kiss and i was like okay so you know he grabbed my face gave me a kiss i gave him a hug and uh yeah and then i got out the car and i went inside my house and I walked straight to my room and I lift up that mattress and I put that password in between my mattress. Y'all was really bad and I felt super bad. But anyway, we're gonna leave the story off there and we're gonna pick up in the next episode. Um, and yeah. <laughs> so, I hope that y'all enjoyed that. Um, yeah, like I said, it's about three more episodes left and um, those should be really lengthy because they are getting very deep in, um, yeah but also too about this i like i told y'all y'all will be getting a story time on that so please don't think that i'm gonna count that out um just give me a second because like it's very traumatizing to but anyway i love y'all so much thank y'all for watching make sure that y'all like comment subscribe click that bell on the side so that you can be notified make sure that you tell a friend or two because it is good for you i love y'all so much and i will see y'all in my next youtube video bye